Okay, so how do you loop displacement? So a lot of times when you're in here, you would just take your displacement. If you want to animate it, you would just sort of animate the size of the depth and have it do stuff like this. But that's not really loopable unless you make it go back and forth, back and forth. And that's not really that fun if you have just one option. So I'm going to show you a different option that lets it loop seamlessly and you can have some more flexibility in having some fun with that animation. Okay, so I'm going to first hide this model. I'm going to hit Shift A and add in a circle. Now keep it at this scale for now. Next thing you want to add in is a empty. So in the plane axis, you would want to go to your constraints, add object constraint, and click follow path, and then just go up here and pick the circle, and now it's on the path. So right here on offset, it would just go in a circle. And so what you want to do is hit insert keyframe, and then go to the end of your end of your animation and click the right arrow just so it skips a frame so you don't have any duplicate frames at the beginning of the end and then here on offset just hit 100 insert keyframe and you're going to have a perfect animation uh, right now it's the keyframe interpolation is that busier you don't want that so right now it slows down and speeds up at the beginning of my animation by default blender makes your keyframe interpolation at bezier and that doesn't make seamless loops. So go to Edit, Preferences. In your Editing tab, go to Animation. And then here in your keyframe interpolation, switch to Linear. And so you're going to want to redo that animation. Just clear keyframes, insert keyframe, go to the end, skip a frame, and, and type in 100. And now it is a seamless loop here for your animation. There you go. So now put our object back in. Now go to the modifier here on the displacement. We're here where it says texture coordinates. Click object and click your empty. And now it'll just use the position of your empty to tell it where to displace. And then you can go into your object, make it a bit smaller. And you can also hit the, the circle and wherever the circle goes, that's where the empty is gonna follow. So you can go in and you can make it rotate some too and just do different things. And that is how you loop displacement. It's really simple, it's really fun. So that's it, it's really simple. I hope this helps you out with your renders and loops and things like that. And thanks for watching.